Hi everyone and on to another video. I'm here today at Woodhouse Grange on the Kingfisher Lake Pick 26. Now it's the open match, Sunday open match. Um, I've never fished Kingfisher before so uh, I'm a bit unsure of this. But I messaged Baz in the shop and he said paste and pellet and corn and everything, maggots were working. So my approach today is going to be, uh, I'm up to Ireland as you can see. So on that left hand side of Ireland I'm going to ping four mills, hopefully get them shallow over there. It's about two foot deep, but it's, it's real, there's roots at bottom. So I've shallowed up about four or five inches, so hopefully I can just sit there, ping pellets and get a few. Uh, top two and one with the paste, Swimston Green. I have also just put a normal pellet rig in over the top of that in case they're not having the paste. And then I've got, somebody's been and cut out these edges here, so I've got a top kit down to my right with the, for the margins there and I found the same depth on peg 26 is it there so two there I'll just feed uh, ground bait micros and dead reds on there fishing 10 wild 4 so we'll see how we go I've also got another camera after uh, last week's uh, efforts kept, kept it or last time's efforts kept hitting it with the uh, with my landing net handle, so I bought another camera, hopefully a different point of view. We'll see how we go, because it's annoying my look at land up around my neck. All right, guys, thank you. Is this wind will let me feed? Yes. And obviously, there's reeds and everything, so I cannot flip the rig. So, just a quick, See if we get any bites. Notice as well, you've got to feed. Even if you feed before it's, it's instant. This wind's not making it easy.
I might float slightly higher towards the uh, pole tip, so we're about five inch, four or five inch, 100 mil. What's that for? It makes a difference. But yeah, it does. <laughs> Decent F1. This one don't get caught very often where he's going. Quite decent stars in the middle.
Sticky hands. that edge and then all this long edge here rooted eat for maggot and ground bait so I've been this one off closest to me and I've decided to go on this just a short one just about a foot deep I was getting bites in that deeper water but they were just fouled up fouled up four straight after another where's this one a foot it's just enough probably still a bit too deep actually but Lean it to the side and just let elastic rip out. I'm getting bites. But Daz Denton of at road, of at road, of other side of the lake. He's I think he's fishing caster. That's all he's done. He's pushed forth netting ages ago. Yeah. Ryan brought casters. I weren't going to bring casters either. Better.
keep on coming like this, it'd be good. The F1, look at the big F1. It might to talk it one. me mad. Probably foul the way we It's keeping low, it's keeping shooting off.
down to a top kit. Or is it that way? just to get that one. Fish on. Oh, ain't it? All right. Well, we got another hour. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd not bothered putting maggots on oak. Oh. Nope, turn them off. Right then. So, we learned a few things. Probably come nowhere in match. Uh, Schoolboy error with clicker and all. Or been a good day. But I've enjoyed myself. I might have gone over in that net. Them two should be alright. I've got no in that. So we'll see how we get around. Cheers. Thank 
five, eight. Oh, I've had all day. Mark, <coughs> Darren's captain. Mark, you think my dad's captain? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Man. 13, 7. £134.2 ounces. Well Thank done. you very much. Well done, Greg. Cheers, mate. Right, I've weighed in £134 for nowhere. Daz Denton, he's had 200 odd. And they're saying 220 odd, I think, 230 odd. I'm not sure, I'm blinking hopeless. And they're saying that Pete Mansell's won it, he's got six, six nets in. So they reckon he might have 250, 260. I'll put sheet up so, uh, so we can see. I went shallow, of it, far side, had a good run of fish. The trouble is the ducks came then, they kept pecking at my bait. I grew about four or five ducks and it was just a nightmare. So I binned that off with a view to going back. Went top two and one short, had a few, had a few on that. Lost a few, but I never I never fed by and I just fed by a uh, toss pot. Had a good, good 20, 30 pound there. Um, and then I thought, that died. And instead of going back down there, I seen a couple going down edge. So I decided to do that and follow suit, but it's never really got on. I've fed ground bait and maggots, dead reds, and that that were wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I should have fed corn. Corn and probably fours. Um, and as soon as that top two and one line died, I should have gone back to Ireland. Fish had, uh, fish had had a rest and ducks had, a, ducks had been on. Probably wouldn't have fed as much if I'd known again now. Uh, uh, but it looks as though, here, I've watched uh, Daz Denton and he's fished uh, top two and two, top two and three, shallow feeding caster. But he says he's had to work at it all day. He's had four rigs, kept going up and down, couldn't get him to stay. And then there have been all different sizes of fish. And then he's just had a top kick down to the side. So it's all close in work, but it sounds on it. To amass a, to amass a load of F1s like that, you've got to be, you've got to be going some. So, uh, same again, I shall be back. I do enjoy it here. There's always plenty of fish to be had. So that's it then, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Cheers.